Hi ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once more to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, touch on the subscription button, but don't forget to like this video. In this channel, we basically talk about politics one on one. We don't massage anybody's ego here, we call it as it is. And that's what makes this channel unique from other channels. So, we, Mutai Nguni, looking at his Twitter handle today, claimed that William Ruto's only weapon that is using and using mercilessly is the fact that majority of Kenyans are ignorant or rather naive of what is happening. And that is the same thing I've been saying in this channel, that William Ruto, the only weapon William Ruto is using he is preying on the ignorance of majority of Kenyans, especially these ones is calling it hustlers. And I did a video in this channel some weeks ago where I stated clearly that out of, if you take 10 Ruto supporters, most likely you will get 8 to be either illiterate or ignorant or are not even aware totally of what is happening in the country. William Ruto has got a history and a background. He did not just come from somewhere, then he says he's a hustler. He's got a history that we all know and a background from where he came from. William Ruto has brought the idea that he's a hustler, ladies and gentlemen, which is not very true. He has told us he was selling chicken somewhere, I think, in Eldoret or in Sugoi, which is also not very true. Yes, everybody at one stage in our lives, we all hustle. Everybody hustles, even the president, Uru Mugai Kenyatta, before he became president, he used to sell some vegetables using pickups, using a pickup. So each and every stage in our life, we have hustled to some extent. But a true hustler is the person who depends on that his hustling eh, for his daily bread. If you don't hustle, you don't eat. That's who a true hustler is. William Ruto was maybe probably selling chicken when he was still at the university. So it means that as a student, the parents might have been providing him with, with pocket money or if not pocket money, then some little cash. And during that time, being a student mm, sponsored by the government, there used to be boom. This money given to university students. And in fact, during those days, university students through that boom could even educate other younger siblings through that money. They used to have a lot of money. So William Ruto saying that he was selling chicken, maybe he was doing it as a hobby, not as his source of livelihood or not as a source of his income. Maybe he was selling chicken just to get some little money, maybe to give his girlfriend or maybe something like that. But he was not selling chicken as his sole source of livelihood. A true hustler is that person roasting maize on, by the roadside who he has to roast that maize to go pay his rent, to feed his family, and to clothe his family and pay school fees for his children. That's who a true hustler is. So Ruto is trying to use that tact tactic that he was a hustler mm, to get votes from these poor masses. Mm? And the poor masses do not know that this man in the whole of his life has never been a hustler. Immediately from university, Ruto joined YK92. And we know YK92 was a big scam by the Kano government. Mm? We, William Ruto made millions through YK92. Mm? He made millions, ladies and gentlemen. By 1997, he was in politics. And by 2002, he was an MP. So there was no time this man really hustled. He doesn't understand what hustling means. Mm? A hustler is somebody who lives the hustle, hustling life and makes his livelihood out of that hustling. So it's time to cheat the masses that he was once a cuckoo seller. Mm? Maybe he was selling cuckoo just like any other person can do some side hustle, which is normal. As a young man, you must do something. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mutai Nguni claims in his Twitter handle that the, the only strength William Ruto has 
is that majority of the population are ignorant. And that's what is trying to play with their <laughs> is trying to play with their psychology. And it's very interesting and very ironical, ladies and gentlemen, that William Ruto is going around the country saying that Kenya Kumesha Wajinga, how comes William Ruto eh, is the if you look at the way William Ruto behaves, if he says Wajinga Wamesha Kenya, his behavior shows that he's all is the only stupid man still remaining around in Kenya. Because some of the things he's doing, I don't know, he's taking that the people are very stupid, or maybe he's the only fool remaining in Kenya, going by what he's saying and what he's doing. For example, let's look at this wheelbarrow issue. William Ruto promised our boys, or rather our children, laptops. By the time he was promising them laptops, the children were around 12 years. Mm? Around 12 years, ladies and gentlemen. But William Ruto has been, has been in government for 8 good years. It means if the children were around 8 years by the time Ruto was promising them laptop, if you add 8 good years, they are now 20 years. They are now out of maybe primary or secondary school. Then here you come and give somebody who promised a laptop a wheelbarrow. It doesn't make sense, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why I'm saying Ruto is really tapping on the ignorance of the masses hmm, to get votes from them. But I'm very happy that campaigns have not yet started properly. And when campaigns now start properly, all these issues will be made bare. And then the people will actually see for themselves where the truth really lies. Because as a nation, we don't want to elect a leader based on propaganda or based on misplaced priorities. William Ruto, first, is not a hustler. Second, he promised to give people wheel laptops, I mean, and now he's giving them wheelbarrow. Hmm? He promised to give people jobs, one million jobs, during their campaign. What we are seeing right now is that he's giving them wheelbarrow. Instead of giving him them the jobs he promised, he is now giving them wheelbarrows. He, ladies and gentlemen, kama si madharao ni nini? He ni madharao ya hali ya juu. If you leave alone that, William Ruto, on the same issue of the laptop, promised to give our graduates Wi-Fi. Mm? I remember it very well. He, was, he promised to give graduates Wi-Fi. And he was talking of things like technology, very digital, all that thing. Now, at, at maybe he has forgotten that he promised that. And maybe he has also forgotten eh, that maybe he thinks the people have forgotten that he promised them Wi-Fi, laptop. Now he's coming with a new idea of wheelbarrow, that he's a hustler, that hustlers are going to form the government. Ladies and gentlemen, it's only a fool who can believe or who can buy the idea that hustlers are going to form the government. Hustlers will never form the government. In fact, if you are a poor man, ladies and gentlemen, no government will make you rich. It's you and your God. Eh? So for somebody to come and tell you that you are going to form the government, that's somebody cheating you. For somebody who is flying in a chopper, telling you that he's a hustler like you, that's somebody just laughing at you. Because as a hustler, I feel a lot of pain, maybe if I can't even afford a meal of, of the day, I can't afford to pay my rent, then somebody is bragging that his one is like me, yet he, he has land everywhere, he has houses, he is flying in a chopper, he has never on any single day slept without food. Me, hapa kwa nyumba, labda nimefungiwa nyumba, then he's saying that he's a hustler like you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is stupidity. This is stupidity that I know with the time will be debunked. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto has made so many promises which he has failed to deliver. I hope you can remember, there was a time, I think there was a time before immediately Ruto and Uru came to power, there was some demonstration to remove IBC and the rest. People were being tear seriously. And William Ruto was the, the face 
of this brutality. Right now, because he wants to be president, he's now telling us that he's one of us. Mm. While when the police were brutally tear-gassing us and beating us ruthlessly, he was very quiet and he was enjoying it, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what we call mediocrity. This is a mediocre leader. If you forget about that, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you of the Langata primary incident. William Ruto, if you observe his politics, all the ways he has been playing his politics, we all know and you also know that this is a man who has got a raw appetite for land. We saw our young children being tear gassed, eh, for they were demonstrating of an, an attempted grabbing of their playground by the same by the same same man now called William Ruto, who is now saying that he's a hustler and that hustlers are going to form the government. He is the same same man who tears our children and the same same man who attempted to grab the children's playground. Just imagine a leader going to an extent of grabbing a playground meant for children. He's now telling us he's a hustler. Ladies and gentlemen, I think as Kenyans we are smart. We can read between the lines and see where, where we are being deceived. If somebody has been in power or rather in office for eight good years, he has done completely nothing. Immediately they were they elected, he started his campaigns immediately. Instead of taking time to first fulfill what he promised, he started his 2022 campaigns immediately. This is now the man coming and telling us he's a hustler and that he should be given chance to lead the country. While he has been there for eight good years, but he has done completely nothing. He has done completely nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call stupidity. Hmm? If somebody can cheat, you know you can be excused if somebody cheats you once. Hmm? But somebody cheating you once, twice, second, thrice, and you are buying the idea, then it means you are a fool. And this is what Mutenguji is trying to refer to. He's saying majority of those buying that idea of William Ruto most likely are naive or they are fools. Mm. Because this is a man who is in government right now. He is not delivering. He has been campaigning. Immediately they were elected. He is coming and giving other pro some more promises, not fulfilling the previous promises. Let him first fulfill the promises he gave first. Then we see whether he has fulfilled them. Then we give him maybe a mandate now. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto has also been mentioned in so many New, in numerous scandals eh, of murder. We, we know the case of Jacob Juma. He's, he was adversely mentioned in that case, in the case of Jacob Juma. In fact, Jacob Juma, before even he died, in his Twitter handle and also even in his Facebook account, he said that the only person who, who wanted to kill him was William Ruto. That's what he wrote. Few days he was found dead. William Ruto was adversely mentioned in that scandal. Then we have so many Ruto aides who are just dying mysteriously. So as a leader, you should be somebody mm, of high integrity. Mm. You should be somebody of high integrity and credibility. Not, you should not be a leader that every other bad scandal comes, you are just entangled in bad bad scandals. I don't know what is wrong with Kenyans at times. Mm. Kenyans have got this appetite for mediocre leaders. There used to be these uh, fake doctors, this quack doc doctor called Mugo. Mugo was taped live, mm, raping a woman. Mm. Immediately was taped raping a woman, Mugo became a celeb. In fact, he became a hero. Yeah. And just being taped raping a woman in his quack hospital, he became a celeb and a hero. And he wanted to contest that people were singing his praises. It's only the cause who, <laughs> who came to our rescue by throwing that person in jail. Huh? Otherwise, Mugo, this fake quack doctor, could have even been elected. So I think the masses must be serious. Huh? We should not have appetite for these mediocre leaders. One such mediocre leaders, ladies and gentlemen, without taking any side, or without being biased, Ruto has proved to be a mediocre leader, ladies and gentlemen. And as people who know exactly what is happening, 
We will not keep quiet, but we will continue exposing this man and trying to educate our people on the type of a leader who should be elected into office. Ruto does not fit the bill of a leader of integrity. This man is first corrupt, he is of questionable character, and he doesn't fit any leadership position, ladies and gentlemen. So, great people, let, let me leave it there. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for now.